All right, well, the thing is, I mean, and the, this, I'll just put it like this. God's trying to piece this neighborhood together. God is trying to, you know, bring this neighborhood back into, you know, the realm of God. The devil keeps on, you know, taking shots at this neighborhood. The devil's trying to tear this neighborhood apart. He's, you know, I, I, you know, I, I can tell by, you know, things that are being done these days, things that are being said. God, God is trying to piece this neighborhood back together. The devil's trying to tear it all up. I mean, when it comes, you know, in any neighborhood, any state, any country, anywhere you go, you know, this neighborhood, I mean, we're supposed to, it's supposed to be, uh, unite, like not unity as in have a picnics together every day and shit, but when you, when you live in a neighborhood, um, God says, love your neighbor as thyself. Well, when you got neighbors that are, you know, doing doing illegal and illeg illegitimate activity you can't love your neighbor as yourself if your neighbor ain't love like if my neighbor ain't loving me like they're supposed to in god's kingdom i can't do the same for them in other words when you live in a neighborhood that's a decent neighborhood like this you're supposed to bring shit to the table you know um when you live with people like if you're a guest at somebody's house and they got you living with them you're supposed to, you're there not to just dog them out and, and cause problems, but you're supposed to like work and pay rent and pay bills. God's trying to, you know, bring some God's kingdom back into this neighborhood. The devil's trying to take God's kingdom out of this neighborhood. I mean, I, I obviously we all know what's going on now, but... If you got people living at your house, or you got your kids living at your house, and they ain't doing nothing but bugging you, and you know, and doing stuff they're not supposed to, I mean, when you got pe when you got guests living at your house, and you got you know, even your kids or family members, and they're not paying rent, they're not paying bills, and they're just blowing their money. Why? Why do you got? Why y'all got them living with you? Yeah, this ain't this ain't got no, this ain't nothing to do with me. This is. To do with God, Christ Jesus, and the Holy Ghost. I'm just relaying the message. I'm not. I'm not the messenger. I. I. Chris is not the messenger. I could care less. But the fact is, the fact all around the world in America, Battle Creek, Michigan. If you got people living with you, or you got family members, and they don't want to pay anything, they don't. They don't want to give you money at all. I mean, why you got people living? Why y'all got people living in your house that don't even want to pay rent or bills or anything? They don't. They don't even want to pay their own way. Why? Why y'all in in this world got people living with y'all that don't want to do that? That they don't want to bring anything to the table. That shit ain't right. But they get that people can do what they want. The, them, them people are gonna have. To, this ain't got nothing to do with me. Everybody's gonna have to suffer the consequences if if. I mean, if you got people living with you, and they're not, if they don't have any income and they're not paying bills, bills and shit, instead of fighting with them, give them opportunities. If you're get, it, it, say if uh, say if you're a parent and you get you make about a thousand a month off work or whatever, give your kids some money. Give your kids money or whoever is living with you. If you love if you love people that live with you so much, you can let them live there for, for free and you got money. Give them some money so they can go out and do shit instead of in, in neighborhoods around the world bugging other people. Because that's why that's why people that's why kids and adults do that shit that you let live with you. And kids and adults, your children. The reason they're going crazy and driving you crazy because y'all ain't giving up no money or opportunity to do anything. I mean, come on. If you got kids and you're not and you're you're making at least a thousand, two thousand a month, 
and you're not even giving your kids any money to do anything? That shit ain't right.